What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel out here in South Florida. Well, South Central Florida. And today we're going to be filming some new product videos for some unreleased, unlaunched, never seen before mock stri slash strike king baits. So this is the first time you guys are going to see it. They haven't released on the market yet. They should be releasing sometime in February. But we got a bunch of guests today. Today's the biggest collaboration video I've ever filmed in my life. We got Senor Bass Fishing. We got A-Dub. We got Noah Pescatelli. We got Tyler Reels Fishing back there. Have a couple of pro bass fishermen. And today I'm going to be fishing with Senor Bass Fishing. This is, his, this is his brand new Skeeter boat that he got. Here's his truck. And we're going to be launching in this little canal over here. Let me show you guys a little video. That right there looks juicy. About to put in the boat right here, get to fishing. Let me go talk to these guys real quick. Right. This video is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Dun Dunkin Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Hello, for the first time ever, here at um, Bassmaster Georgia channel. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. Uh, we're going to catch fish here in Florida on every mock bait. So we've got... Uh, I don't even know the names of them. That's how new they are. That's how prototype these things are. Yeah, these We've, are fresh, fresh out of the oven, bro. Fresh out of the oven. We got a, we got a stick bait style. We got a fluke style. We got a, a, the mock craw, which by the way, mm, looks so good. Yeah, this cooler too, bro. We got big size of topwaters and we have the pickle and the pop and pickle. Yep. And so the first guy to catch a fish on all the soft plastics and one hard bait wins $1 million. It's actually $500. $500, okay. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah, a little, little low than that. <laughs> 500, hey, I'd take 500 bucks. I'll take, I'll take 500. Yep. You're not taking it though. I'm taking it. Moss over here on the trees. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> Beautiful. You never been here, right? No. Yeah, I was here for an hour yesterday. It's not. It's not that that much time. Currently what we're gonna do, just gonna see if we can figure out a fish bite. So we're just gonna throw a thunder cricket for a little while just to see if we can see where these fish are at. Figure out a pattern. Yeah. Figure out an area. But that was what? We got 10 minutes fishing? Yeah. There you go. I mean, it's a fish. That's a fish. I saw him eat it too. Really? Yeah, the channel's definitely to the right. He's marking deeper water. Yeah. On that edge. I think it's that edge over there. So I kind of want to, he's marking 10 foot over there. So I kind of, I want to follow this all the way to that corner. All right, so we're over here flipping. This is the old new secret mock crawl that mock just come out with. A little bit different in the fact that the pinchers on the back have a little cut. Pretty similar to like a rage tail, but it gives it a little less super aggressive action, but allows it to punch through grass mats and down through logs and sticks a lot better. Doesn't really have a lot of appendages on the side. So it's pretty good punching bait, pretty good flipping bait. It's really good for areas like we're using it right here. But the fish have not been producing in these little areas. I have a 3 16 ounce Texas rig, but let me get a cast up in there. That's good for God. It's kind of hard to get a power, power pole, a power pole uh, 
shot, you know. That looks good. I don't know. How? Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Feels good. That's a good one. For you? Oh, you got I it. can do that or boat flipping. Uh, you can do whatever. We'll put this in the live well. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Not a monster, but. That's a good one. You called it. That's a good one. Yeah. Fish bite. You said we were about to, about to catch them. We caught them. Fish bite, baby. There you go. Yeah, let's put them on the live well. Green machine. <laughs> Uh, power pulled down so we might be able to catch another one there well this was the second bite of the day but i didn't get my first one on tape we're just throwing the thunder cricket around trying to figure out the bite before we start using the new secret baits <laughs> there we go it's not hard to get them out, out of here later. 12 o'clock lunch update we're up to two fish Eight of them, I think they're at a goose egg. Uh, Tyler, they're at two fish. It's been pretty terrible so far. Hopefully this, uh, starting to heat up though. Hopefully the water temperature. Well, it was 60 degrees this morning. It's 63.9 now, so. Yeah, and it was cold this morning too. So, might. And, and this lake is so, it's shallow. It's like the deepest is like 12 feet. So when it, you know, temperature is that cold out in the air, the yeah. surface temperature is pretty cold too. Yeah, it, it might heat up. Let's go with that. Yeah. We're gonna move on to a different spot. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to be like you. Cute. I might be under power. They call me the Dink Master. <laughs> I might be under power with this setup, bro. This is only a 7.3 heavy. Yeah. So, you ain't gonna pull one out of them big old pads. If it's a 10, we're gonna have to do some miracle work to pull it out of there. Bait. On I mean jerk, jerk bait. bait. Yeah, tiny. Nice. Baby, baby. Three fish in the boat though. So I'm gonna go over a few of the different mock baits that we have. We got four different type of plastics right here. Super secret plastics. And then we got a couple different frogs that you guys probably saw on one of the last mock videos I did with Norby. But we got the old pickle frog. And then we got the popping pickle. It says it right here on the side. We got the popping pickle and the pickle frog. Obviously one's a popper and one's not, but they work great. So those are some of the top water lines that Mock has coming out. A couple of different soft baits. This right here is the Mock Crawl. I believe this one's like a summer crawl color right here. I showed you guys this on the GoPro. It's got a couple of the cut pinchers right there it's very vertical doesn't have a lot of appendages on the side punches through the grass pretty good has a really good action pretty much just like a strike king rage tail but that is a new bait coming out pretty soon i think it releases at the end of february early march another thing that we have is we have these drop shots and if you guys see a bazillion gnats in the video i'm sorry hey hey with that with that uh crawl can you show the crawl again real quick yeah yeah one cool little thing that we did the crew guys the mud um check this out you see this back here yeah you've seen this before right mm -hmm. you you, oh you, yeah you can put that in there oh yeah look at this oh so, yeah so that will hold the scent a little bit better that's good. So all all of our our mock design they come with that like that next 
lure you're about to show, it has that little rib thing. That, that way you can put some uh, okay. some scent on it as well. It's gonna hold a lot better, yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yes, sir. These right here, we don't even have the packages yet, but this is the new drop shot. This is the clear water shad. I'm not really sure if that's the name of it, but that's what it looks like. Uh, schooler. Schooler? Yep, that's but the schooler. A little drop shot, a little bit of Nico hook or something on the front. This thing right here is gonna be a killer bait. You could probably put it as a trailer on a little, you know, miniaturized chatterbait or something. That's a new one that Mock has coming out. Bunch of different colors. We, like I said, we have an entire giant plastic baggie full. Like we got white Mock Crawls, green pumpkin, and uh, also, I'm not really sure if this is the best color. We got some new Mock Stick Baits. Let me get the white ones out because this thing has one of the coolest features. I think this come out in a soft plastic in a while. And uh, these guys are basically designed by the mock crew. And together they put in a bunch of different uh, opinions on what they thought they wanted in a bait. So obviously we got the mock right on this side, but the coolest thing about this bait is right there. Do y'all see that little dot? That dot in the center of the bait is where you hook your wacky rig. And it's dead center, it's perfectly balanced to where the wacky rig is gonna be evenly on both sides. So no more guessing like you do on your normal stick baits. You put it on that little dot right there, it's gonna be perfect every single time. So that's three baits. And then we have one more. But okay. yeah, we're, we're missing a 8.5 uh, curl tail worm. So that's we, gonna be, that one we have to do uh, some adjustments on the mold. Yeah. That's why we don't have it here. Okay. But that one is gonna be, or two yeah. like 8.5 that's something not very common usually when you, you normally go with you got that, a seven yeah or, or a, a 10. 10 yep so we did 8.5 baby so that's right perfect in the middle to where it's kind of like just the right juice little spot so that's going to be coming out pretty soon you guys can become a member on the fishing chaos app and you guys can actually apply to be on the mock team and what that'll do is you'll be able to put your input on in on baits you'll be able to get access to baits earlier see the baits before they drop so these are just a few of the baits that mock has coming out you can go to the mock website use the code ms mock 10 save 10 percent on anything you order on the website that's my code help support the channel so let's go ahead and get back to fishing the bite has been absolutely terrible today but we're going to keep giving it a try i'm sure this is a two to three day collaboration before the trip's over with we'll end up catching some good fish so let's get back to it Time to go try at location number two. We're gonna head to Rodman Reservoir. So this place just ain't hitting it. So we're gonna got we're gonna have like an hour and a half of fishing over there. I think AW and them might come with us. Let's leave it. Let's let's leave. just at a different reservoir and uh, they said they're biting here a little bit better so and people are watching them is he on it mm -hmm. he wants to eat it smoke it boy smoke it got him yeah got him Juan for the win. He looked bigger on the craft. Yeah, he did. I take him. Second fish for me. Segundo pez para mi. Certified scoped fish. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was bigger. Yeah. It looked like there's a fish right out there. Man, they're following mine big time. Try one. 
You got one? There's like three of them following it. Oh my God. That's a pushing a two, ain't it? <laughs> That's a big old black crappy dude. There's a few of those in here. That's might be what we're seeing. That's not biting. Yeah. No, I don't think so. They're grouped up. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, that. Wow. That's a slab. I need that big group again, right there. It was like the whole school then. Right. Yeah. Get on this side. See them? See them? Yep. One's following mine. Yeah. This is yours? Yeah, that's yours. Keep twitching it. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. You gotta, you gotta keep the same speed, the same speed. If you stop it, they're not gonna eat it. These little boogers. Look at, look at my screen. Look at, look at me. See how I, I just ride on top of them. Look. I yeah. can see it. Keep, keep your bay on top. Oh, that's a big fish, bro. I don't know what is that, but that's like a freaking five to I don't know, bro. That's a guy. Maybe a gar. I don't know. These suckers would follow me in. Well, Juan got an absolute massive two plus pound crappy on the new little uh drop shot on a crappy jig thing so that was pretty cool I had a quite a few fish follow mine on the live scope so it was a nice little lesson on a tutorial because I just put live scope on my boat haven't got to use it yet but live scopes coming pretty soon so as you can see the Sun's going down there's stumps everywhere we got to head out of here I'll see you guys back at the boat ramp or at the house I don't know see you there Welcome back to the channel. We're officially at day two of the mock Bassmaster Classic Series. Who knows what we're gonna call it. But we're out here testing these new mock baits. Got the mock stick, got the new crawl. A couple other different things we're gonna be throwing today. We're at a completely different reservoir than the last video because that place was absolutely terrible. No yeah, not good at all out here with Senor Bass Fishing himself. Yo. Make sure you check him out, subscribe to his channel if you're not already. But we've seen some schooling fish, seen some big fish on the graph, and uh, hopefully we can find some big bass. I know there's some big ones in here. Let's go ahead and get to scoping, fishing, testing out these new baits. Let's get to it. All right, guys, day two. Out here with the active target. I'm not sure if those are stumps or fish, but we're about to find out. There's my jerk bait. It needs to be a little deeper. Whoa. Oh my gosh. What is this thing? I don't know. Maybe a guard. Don't don't force it. Don't force it, bro. Don't force it. Espérate, quítate. La red, la red. Quítate, quítate. Graba de allá atrás. Yeah, it's a gar. It's a guard. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Oh. If you get a tire, you can probably bolt it and, and take a picture. Bro, I was like, this thing on the graph is massive. <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> bro, that was my first scope fish of the day. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> bro! If you, if you want a picture with it, I would like one, but yeah, you gotta get. I've never caught a gar this big. <laughs> gosh, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> Primer pez del, del viejo y primer pie es oh, con el Active Target. Por eso te quité, oh, porque pensé que iba a ser una monstruosa. 
<laughs> let, me sp let me spin this thing around because I don't want it behind the boat. Yeah, just chase it. Just take your time. It's going to get tired. Just like the fact that I saw it chase my bait, that was so cool. Gosh, dude. Well, on the jack, too, bro. On the jack? Yeah, mock jack. Jerpy? Yeah. We're well, not on the mock jerk bait, but oh, on the yeah, jack the combo. Rock. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this thing, dude. The thing is, I got my line in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's not good. It could break it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like it's wrapped around, it'll probably snap my line if it wanted to. Here. It's coming, bro. Head first. I told you it was gonna be a mess. She's still big. That'll snap the line too. Yeah. <clears throat> See if I can dang. Get the back end in. Get, get, get back here. Get back here. All the way back here. And just take your time. Grab the tail. I got this. You might need both ends. I just don't want that freaking yeah, yeah, yeah. hook nowhere near me. Grab the tail really, really hard. Really, really hard. And tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Put, right. <laughs> Let's get this hook out of here, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we got it now. Okay, so now she's free. Now, here's the tricky part. Let's uh, get this. some pliers. Okay, now you're better. Yeah, show us what you got there, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that. What a giant. You're live right here on your yeah. camera. All right, guys. I thought this thing was like a 10 pound bass. Did the uh, active target, saw it nose down on the jerk bait, set the hook. Obviously not a bass, but first fish of the day. Already liking it better than Orange Lake. So, going to get some photos and we're going to get a release on this. <laughs> that thing is giant, bro. <laughs> yeah. oh, she's ready to go. Ready? Yep. Adios. Sweet. There you go. <laughs> first one of the day. <laughs> Got some stank on my hands now, we're ready. <laughs> All right, so we're actually gonna use a mock bait today. This is the new mock stick. Got it rigged on a drop shot. See if we can find us some fishies. Just a scoping. Yeah, but there's bait here now. Oh, they're eating right there. Come on, oh, I have one chase it. Got one. There you go. <laughs> Got his little booger. The Mickey rig. <laughs> well, certified future 10. <laughs> Good job. That was fun. That was on the new mock schooler. This is like a live scope specialty bait. Could use it as a chatterbait trailer too. Just casting this bad boy out. Yeah, this little dealio is gonna catch up. Super to fast twitches. Fish, yeah. It will be a killer, Lanier. It will be a killer. There you are. I'm letting it drop on that one's yeah. head. Yeah, that's a little school. They're right here under us, too. Maybe a jerk bait will work too, bro. Cause see how I they... feel like I'd need one of them 10 foot divers, but. Look. Oh, is that you? Yeah. No. I thought that was you. Oh, there you go. Oh, you you got one of the good ones on the bottom, bro. He's good. He's good. He's getting ready to jump. He's a good one. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh yeah. We may need the net for that one. What is this? Net or no? I think I got him weirdly hooked. Oh, here. Let's not lose that one. We need fish on the box. Oh, yeah, baby. Here you go. 
I got a lure on the water. <laughs> okay, I got him. Grab the net. Put All it back right. there. Okay. Ooh, buddy. Best largey of the day. And Juan's over here. You almost slung it in my bag. My bag is going to stink now. You versus the guy she told you not to worry about. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch it up a little bit. I brought my box of deep diving jerk baits. I think what we're going to try is this Strike King Elite. This right here is a diver. So we're going to try that thing out, see if it'll work. All right, so we just tied the deep diving jerk bait on. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. And Juan's got him one that fast. Feel like a good one? A uh, better one. This is something hard. They're coming our way. Just cast it straight. Oh, I got, got you it got straight out. Chasing. Yeah, you, oh, you got one chasing. Real and throw again. Look, they're only in front of us right here. Whoa. What you got? Man, this is, uh, he grew on me, I guess. I don't know. Let me go back to the schooler. He won. It broke me off. So, just put a new bait on. But I'm putting some of my old thump gel on there. Stuff right here. Have them biting. Hang on there a lot better. Where they at? No, All right, so I'm learning this live scope a little bit better. They're up there. Well, slightly to the left of them. No, 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 leader no. Damn it. I put the jerk bait up and then they all moved up. There they are, come on. Got his little butt on the target. <laughs> no. Saw him eat it on the screen. It's not worthy of uh, keeping though. Guys, 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 guys. Got one. You're right there. They're coming for you. Oh man. Don't set the hook hard, bro. Feed him. You gotta feed him, bro. Oh man. Just pulled out of his mouth. Oh, they're still here. Real, real, real. Fast, fast, fast. Cast on top of them. Yes, sir. Keeper or no keep? No keep. No keep. That is fun. Well, a little update. We probably caught like 10, 15 fish on the live scope, and but we have to go back to the boat ramp, pick up a couple folks, so we have to abandon our spot, and we'll probably have to find a new spot, but hey, if you ain't scoping, you're just hoping. Juan's teaching me the ins and the outs of live scope, so I'm ready to have my boat done completely be on the water live scoping some big fish so we'll update you guys once we pick up the camera crew and uh, maybe we can get a giant bass today because i mean i got the giant gar bunch of numbers i don't know see you in just a second well per the camera crew they didn't want any gopros and all that because we were filming 
on their cameras taking photos and stuff so they didn't want the gopros but ended up catching a lot more fish that day a couple of like five pounders but i'm going to pick up my boat in just a couple days i'm not sure if those videos are going to come out before this one or after this one got some new wheels and tires for the boat cannot wait to get out on the water and use it but if you stuck around all the way to the end of the video thank you so much we'll see you guys on the next one peace